Another episode of The Walking Dead, A New Frontier. This game is awesome. I love it so far. I wonder when we're going to meet Clementine, when we're going to get to Clementine and Kenny. I know they're pro in this game. I'd be so mad if they weren't in this game. So, let's, yeah, look, see, she's right fucking there. When do we get to meet her? Anyway, continue the episode. I forgot what we were doing last time because I haven't recorded in like two weeks. I'm sad now. What's happening? The shit. Hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Yeah, you ass. Answer me! Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back there. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. What happened to him was an accident. Yeah, right. Keep talking, we might find ourselves in a similar accident. You get what I'm saying? Please, you have to believe me. We were just... Not another word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Stop! Stop! Oh, shit! Oh, no, no! Oh, shit! Hey! I'ma just, I'ma just kill him. Yeah. Alright. That's good. Just keep looking forward. Who's that? Look, I'm no threat to you, okay? I surrender. <laughs> no threat, huh? Tell that to the dead guy. Oh, fuck! It's Clementine! Okay, now don't do anything stupid. Because I'll shoot a lot quicker than you did. It's Clementine! You're a kid. I was just asking when we're gonna meet her. Oh, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. Oh, shit. Yeah. You stopped it, alright. Tree fell slower than I thought it would. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Yeah, yeah. you're back, Clementine. Keep your eyes closed and count to 100 before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked, and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522, and, and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard, if you let me have your van. 
I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. That van is our home. It's all we got. That sounds like a no. How about you just give me directions like a normal person? How about I shoot you and take the van anyway? This is a better deal for you. Let's go. Uh, shit. Clementine, what happened? Is this really necessary? Can he die? I don't know you. I don't trust you. And I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Look, I get it. You're being cautious. Glad we understand each other. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Yeah, it is Clementine. Well, thanks for not killing me, Clementine. Don't thank me yet. How many? Wait, how long has it been since the, after the last game? talk fine but how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself for all I know you turn around and use it on me ah, come on this whole silent loner thing you got going on just be real with me I don't know what you're talking about where those the herd caught up with us Muertos. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Usually, it's just me on my own. Sounds kind of lonely, if you ask me. Well, I didn't ask you. And, anyway, I prefer it like that. Yeah. So, who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive, surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. I did whatever I had to do to protect them. Kept them out of trouble the best I could. Sucks. That sometimes it's not enough. Well, how about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? All dead. Same thing that happens well, to Except everyone. for Kenny. I mean, unless Kenny's dead. Please don't say Kenny's dead. If you say Kenny's dead, I'm gonna be so freaking shit. pissed. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Can you do that? Please? Fine. Whatever you say. Thank you. Don't make me regret this. Come on! Hey, Clementine! Game be loading. There! To the gate. Oh, we're gonna have to run, aren't we? Let's keep going. You'll open up. Shit. Hey. Open up. I can't open the gate till you clear them out. Can't risk it. Shooting zombies! Fuck! These bullets won't fire! 
Get your ass inside! Come on, now! Go, go, go! And damn it, Francine, one of these days, those doors are gonna close, and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise, I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd, that's all. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that. And I wouldn't recommend changing your mind. If you want to hang on to all your teeth, that is. Yeah. Now head on in. Zombie violence. Well, welcome to Prescott. Prescott. Have I heard that name before? I don't know. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time, though. Hey, what's the problem? You have some sort of history here that I should know about? Not really. I just... I know what people are capable of. Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family... They're still out there. Yeah. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know... They'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go. This way. Yeah. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. Jeez. I haven't been in a place like this since... Well... Just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. You again. <laughs> you got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. You want an autograph or something? <laughs> if I had a baseball, I'd take you up on it. Let it <laughs> fresh out. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? I don't fucking know how to play. Don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. I don't really gamble anymore. Went all in on the wrong hand once. <laughs> it's okay, hon. I got this one. Raise. Moment of truth. Flip them. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight. Good looking hand there. But not good looking enough. God damn it. And thanks for playing. Let me get you a drink for the assist. On the house. Bottom it up. Yeah, I don't know how to put how to I don't know like how to get turpentine. 
<laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? She doesn't need a bodyguard. She could take care of herself. Believe me. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. <gasps> I could have died because of his bullets. Unfucking believable. Look out! Yeah. <laughs> 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 Listen, let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was uh, too... We are back. <laughs> Got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what Make I sure that part of video. You gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Shit. Drop the gun. Right now. See, he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you. Eli attacked him. I only shot because. Shut it. You done enough talking. Did he die? Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking. What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do with Whoa. you. Whoa! Oh, hey, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in here fucking up my bar. Yeah. I ought to punch your fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a... Grade A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey. Hey. Thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um, that was cool of you. I wasn't sure there for a minute. Of course. Of course. Anytime. Well, I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. I mean it. Just. Don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. The trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. Javier, pleasure's all mine. Is it hey. now? Now. Let's see about that wound. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? <laughs> As if pretty. good looks equal bad behavior or something. Yeah. Well, it takes one to know one. One what? One pretty troublemaker. <laughs> I'll give you that one. A. Hey. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. She killed so many asking, people. What did happen exactly? That they were arguing and that she went crazy over nothing? Look, things got out of hand. Clementine was only trying to make a point, but then... You make it sound so casual. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town. 
and get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help. Well, not that I have much to offer you, but... I know a thing or two about losing family. Hey, it's okay. You've done enough. I hear you, but... Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms and on my timeline. You got me? Fair enough. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. Trip, it doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they can need a medic. Nah, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Seems like a reasonable guy. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but... Well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. Something tells me Trip won't be too happy about you sneaking us out the back door. He'll get pissy, but he'll get over it. Sometimes with him, you gotta ask for forgiveness rather than permission. Anyway, think about it. <laughs> better check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. You know... I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah. She's... She's something. The thing is, is, and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. We should go right. for Trip in the morning. Trip's got more muscle, just in case. We'll wait and get a ride with him. Glad you're finally listening to reason. You know... When I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. It's gonna be a while before that herd passes. We might as well get some sleep. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. Would we get to be Clementine now? That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Oh, this is what happened. That's good. Getting into first gear is the hardest part. A Kenny. Now just stay Kenny. on the road. <laughs> Most important rule there is. Now let's try shifting into second. It's Kenny. Not bad at all, especially for a first time. You just gotta ease up off the clutch a little smoother, all right? You don't have to make the switch all at once. I want to do it again. You will, and next time, just be gentle. But can't we use a freaking automatic? <laughs> once we get down to Florida, we'll ditch the wheels and I'll make a sailor out of you. Mark my words. You too, buddy. I just can't get him to talk. It's unusual for his age. Well, the heater's broken. He's cold. Only makes sense to head for Florida sooner than later. Leave all this snow behind, right? Be like summer every day. Hell, I'm gonna have to find me some shorts. Yeah, no kidding. It's freezing outside. The sooner the better, for sure. No more winters yeah. ever again, Clem. I'll teach AJ to fish, how to swim. We'll watch the sunrise every morning, all three of us. But we ain't getting nowhere doing 25 miles an hour. Shift her into third. Let's get her really cooking. Well, there you go, Clem. Time we get to Florida, you'll be a better driver than me. Proud of you, Clem. Hey. 
I really appreciate you teaching me. You know, I... I always dreamed about the day I'd teach Duck to drive. You're the best second chance I could ask for. Hey. Where's your blanket, goofball? I swear this kid never makes a peep. Who knows how long he's gone without a blanket. A duck was gabbing a mile a minute at his age. Wasn't full sentences, but something. There's nothing wrong with AJ. He'll talk when he's ready. I know. Just a bit odd for a child his age. Then again, Albert Einstein didn't talk till he was four, and look how he turned out. Crap! I got it. Turn the wheel. Don't. Ooh. Fuck. We crashed a car. Well, we have the roads icy. AJ? Oh god, you're okay. Oh no. Kenny? No! No! Oh shit, are you okay, Kenny? I'm fine. I'm fine. Is it AJ okay? Shit. Help me up. Probably broke like a shitload of bones. Fuck. I don't I don't feel anything. That's good. No. Clem, I don't feel anything. No! I can't feel my legs. I just can't get up. God damn it. Well, I, I can get you into the car. I don't... <clears throat> Shit. This ain't gonna work, Clem. Hey, Fun. hey. Stay away from him. <laughs> you gotta go help AJ, Clem. Huh? I am letting you watch those fuckers chew me up. No, I won't give up on you! No, Clementine, no! There's no point! Come on, Kenny, help me! Not today, you son of a bitch! Go! Don't look back! No, Kenny! No, they killed him! <laughs> AJ, come on! No! Oh, why do you do this to us, Telltale? Why? Why? No! Hey, Clem. We almost there. Hey, Clem. Yeah, we're close. I gotta say, I hope your people are safe and sound. Eleanor asked me before we left to make sure of it. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. So that's what I'm gonna do. Though why she went to bat for you, I've got no idea. I mean, she hardly even knows you. And you don't know her, for that matter. Makes a guy wonder, you know? Hey, I didn't ask her to. She did that all on her own. Yeah, well, I guess she's got her reasons for things, but I never can quite figure out what they are. Yeah. Guys, that's the place. But anyway, I've been recording for like half an hour now. Actually, 29 minutes and 35 seconds now. And I think I'm going to leave that episode there. Why did they have to kill Kenny? Why? No, I liked Kenny. He was my favorite. Damn it. Why the frick did I have to kill Kenny? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like, if you like, subscribe to that. Then I'll like one of my awesome uploads. If you have a comment, question, concern, idea, or just want to start a conversation, please leave it in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye! Whee!